We are seeing a surge in violent crime, especially when it comes to gun-related violence right here in the Miami Valley. And Mike Campbell and New Center 7's I-Team uncovered the numbers. He got feedback from community members and went to police to learn about their plan to better protect folks. As we were digging into the numbers in this surge in violence, especially gun-related violence, we wanted to take a look and see if there was any specific portions of the city where this was happening. What we found was it can happen in any and every neighborhood. These guns is everywhere, and all these little kids have them. Many people living in Dayton are seeing the rise in violent crime firsthand. Crime scene tape in their neighborhoods, police looking for those responsible for a gun-related crime, like this homicide on September 25th on West 1st Street. A 21-year-old man was killed here. A 19-year-old young man has been arrested and charged with a crime. And in downtown Dayton, five days earlier, a man ran to the Levitt Pavilion after coming under fire during a drive-by shooting. And these are guns that are in people's hands that they should not be. Dayton's assistant chief of police told me some of the reason for the rising gun violence numbers are juveniles and young adults. So we've seen an increase in that over the last several years. But that's not the only reason for these alarming numbers. Three categories of violent crimes are significantly up, with higher numbers year-to-date than in all of 2022. 33 homicides now versus 26 all of last year. 485 aggravated assaults compared to 438 in a full year in 2022. And shooting into habitations, the police term for someone firing shots at someone's home, well, they're way up, 130 now, after only 95 in all of 2022. That's why we're very focused when we're doing um, our uh, gun reduction initiatives. Henderson told me the department has seized more than 800 guns so far this year. They're also tracking crime patterns. We dug into a community crime map that Dayton Police and many other departments enter their information into. It's a way to let the public know what they're finding. I decided to enter just homicides and felonious or aggravated assaults for the last month in the city. The crime map showed me 44 crimes spread out across the city and downtown. 41 of them assaults, 3 of them homicides. Some Dayton residents say that is not a pretty picture. I think it's just the city, maybe the kids, parents, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I hope it gets under control soon because it's, it's a mess. If they know of someone that's committing these crimes, report it. Police told me they're using technology, gathering intelligence, and working with state and federal partners to change things. But the best partners they can have are community members willing to provide information to stop dangerous crime. I know at times the community is fearful, but um, the, the, the community that's fearful is also likely the ones being most impacted. And Mike, if community members are the best police partner out there, but as we just heard, residents are often scared to say anything, where does that leave us? Well, police were ready for that question when I put it to them, James, and what they said is they want you to say something if you see something, but do it safely. And they say you can do that a couple of ways. You can call Miami Valley Crime Stoppers anonymously at 937-222-STOP. You can also call Dayton Police at 937-333-COPS, and you can also be anonymous there as well. Police James? can't be everywhere all of the time. They need help from the community. Mike Campbell reporting live tonight from Montgomery County.